All right, Liberty families and friends, we are very excited to be launching a brand new app, and I'm going to walk you through that app today. It's going to give you a ton of information right at your fingertips on your phone or on your iPads or on your devices. So this is what the icon looks like right here. It is an L. Um, the long part of the L has a flame on the top of it, like a torch, and there. And I'm going to show you how to get that to the, at the, your app store um, in just a minute, but I'm going to go through all the features. I think you're going to really like this. So when I click on the Liberty app after I've downloaded it, it goes to our home page. Then at the very top, the icon is a calendar. So here's our calendar. Today is February 23rd, so it's telling you that report cards are coming home and box tops are due. If you click on a different date, the 24th, that is grandparents' lunch. So this gives you some uh, major events and major happenings when you click in the calendar. It'll be useful if you have an appointment or you need to see something's going on if your child is not going to be at school. Directly under that, we have a link to Infinite Campus, so you click on there. It's going to take you to Fayette County's Infinite Campus website so that you can log on here the way you would on your computer, and you can check attendance and check your child's grades right there from your phone. Click OK to go back. Right next to that is a Liberty Art. This is an interesting feature, so we're going to be able to go into this and look at specific grade levels. And Mrs. Crosby has uploaded pictures of their artwork. So when I click on Liberty Art, I can go into first, second, or third grade, and I click on first grade, and I see that they've been working on some spider projects, and they've been working on their heart projects. So it's got pictures of specific grade levels, and we're still working on getting fourth and fifth up there. But right now, we've got first, second, and third grade artwork up there. So you can click on that, and you can see some of the artwork. It may not be your child's specific artwork, but you can see what they're doing in art. Directly under there, we have school menus and lunch times, which we know this is also going to be very helpful. Click on school menus, and it goes to the Fayette County menu, so you'll know exactly what we're having for lunch on any given day. Click OK to go back. Click right here, and we felt like this would be great information because we have a lot of phone calls. This is a lunch schedule. So if you'd like to know what time your child goes to lunch, you can look on here, and we can see that Miss Boaz and Miss Gerhardt go to lunch at 1055, and they end lunch at 1120. So you'll be able to know when your child is going to lunch. Click back. You get to the food menu. Click back again, back to the home screen. And right next to that is an add money to your account. So you can click on that, and if you'd like to add money to your child's cafeteria account, you, it takes you to the Fayette County um, pay system, My Payments Plus, so you can do that directly from your phone also. Click OK to go back. You're back at the main screen. Right here is Contact Your Teacher. That's going to take you to um, our web page with all of our teachers' names, and you can click on your teachers' names. So here is Mrs. Han uh, Houlihan. So when I click on Ms. Houlihan, it takes me up to her page. Uh, her information and I click on here to give her send her an email and I get directly to her email so I can send an email to Mrs. Houlihan without having to go up on the computer I can do it directly from my phone I'm going to click back to get out of this upcoming events when I click on upcoming events first it says next week is Dr. Seuss week so I can click on here and it tells me exactly what our children are going to be dressing up next week is Read Across America so it says um, on the 27th they're going to be wearing green on the 28th Tuesday they'll be wearing pajamas so this gives us some information about next week right under that is February and March events and so you can see we've got the Music Man tonight um, all weekend we've got a Puccini Spirit Night um, we've got grandparents lunch so it gives you some information about upcoming dates at the school uh, let's go back and back again and down here at the bottom um, we have an upload button so that if you want to send in a picture um, you just post a picture you take a picture and I'll take a picture right here of this chair and I'll use the photo and then I'm going to put right here chair and when I push send it's going to allow me to do a small medium or large just do a smaller or medium and then that actually goes through and it goes to somebody here at school and they check that picture if we want to use it for the web page or Facebook or put it on this app um, we may be making calls for pictures of you and your family doing something so that'll be an opportunity for you to be able to upload pictures and send it to the school it does not go directly to the app it goes to a staff member here who then would um, check it and make sure that it's a picture that we want to put up going back so now we're at the main screen so this is the main screen when you first log in if you swipe to the left wait swipe to the right maybe if you swipe to the right um, you get another set of icons here um, the first one is contact us this one is a quick look um, you can uh, contact administration bookkeeper registrar secretaries this is kind of the front office counselor um, school cafeteria and the librarian so this is just kind of quick check if you need to email somebody instead of going through the main page the location when you click on this it gives you the location of the school click on Liberty Elementary School it gives you the location uh, see the route to where get here here's our vision statement see the website this is going to actually take you to the Liberty Elementary School website 
web page, which it froze up on me just a second ago, so maybe I'll do that. So I'm going to click back and go in here, and it can actually call. So if you click on this, it'll actually call Liberty Elementary School. Um, and you can do that all from the Liberty Elementary um, information page, location. FPS takes you to FCPS, takes you to the Fayette County um, app that gives you a lot of information, some um, news about Fayette County Public Schools. Clicking back out of here, down here, facts uh, and questions. This talks about school uniforms and uh, school actually dress codes. We don't wear uniforms. This tells you what time we start and end. This is, tells us about the Spanish Immersion Program. So this is just some information that we threw up here, but we'll be changing that out for frequently asked questions. And then right here is notifications. And so you can see it's box top submission time and uh, notifications can go out on this app. And it will be set so that when we send out a notification, it will go to your phone and it will come up and bleep it if you put notifications on. So if we have a snow day or an early release, we will be able to use this app um, to be able to notify you of that. So we are very excited about this new app. Click home screen. Um, very excited for our new app and all the information that it gives us. Um, and we hope that you're going to enjoy that too. I want to show you how to get to the app and download it real quick. Um, this is what the icon looks like. So that's what you're going to be looking for in your app store. So it is an L that is a torch and it has a Liberty Hawk right there on the L. So when you click in your app store, um, your app store will come up. And basically what you're going to do is you are going to click search and then you're going to type in Liberty Elementary. And a lot of times you don't even need to do it all. It comes up. So when you click on Liberty Elementary, um, four schools will come up at this time because there's four schools that have these apps. We're looking for um, the one with that icon and it's A Plus Apps, which is a great company that we're working with. So right now this is the fourth one down. There is the icon right there. It says A Plus Apps right there. And you are going to click there. I'm, if I click it, it says open, but you're going to install. Yours is probably going to say get. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to um, type in Liberty Elementary School in the search bar. And then there will be four schools, maybe more if they come up. You're going to just slide down until you find the icon. Um, that is the L with a torch and the Liberty Hawk. And it is done by A Plus Apps. You're just going to click that button there. That would say Get. And it will allow you to upload um, our new app into your phone. So we hope that you enjoy this new app. We hope that you, it gives you a lot of information um, and puts information at your hands that are going to help you to help your child be successful. If you have any questions, just contact the school.